that's how it sounds. I'm here at the dealer, or here at the uh, muff replace, and I just wanted to get a quick exhaust clip because it, they might be able to do it today, I don't know. So I wanted to get a quick clip on the before sound, which actually doesn't sound bad, especially back there. I don't know if you could hear it up here. It didn't sound that bad up here. But it doesn't sound bad. It's got a ton of potential. We're gonna see um, if they can do it. Sometimes these, these guys here at this exhaust place can get you in and out pretty quick. So um, I just wanted to grab that little video in case they end up doing it today. What's up guys? I'm back at it with another one. You didn't think I was gonna, you know, give you that clip right away, did you? No, I'm gonna make you wait. Anyway, um, as the title insists, I did get a new exhaust for the Q50. Um, a little late to making the video, I actually did it the second day I owned the car. Um, super, super high-end exhaust. I mean, freaking expensive, but it sounds good. No, I'm just kidding, it wasn't expensive. We'll get into that in a second. Anyway, um, yeah, so a little update. I did the exhaust to the car, um, did the chrome delete as you saw, did some like black eyelids on the um, headlights, so all that is great, looks fantastic. But the next thing was wrapping the car. I don't know when I'm going to wrap the full car for a couple reasons, but I bought a film, um, a cheap, cheap film, but I wanted to see, test it out, and see how I like it. Um, I'm gonna kinda test it out, trial it, and if it holds up well and or looks good, then um, could potentially wrap some more cars in it. So that would be fantastic because uh, I could do wraps for cheaper. So, um, but it, I don't know, we'll see. Um, this is the roll the film came in. Um, Honestly, I haven't even seen the color yet, so I'm gonna look at it, but I'm not gonna show you guys. I'm gonna look at it. Um, when I ordered it, I kinda, it's hard to explain without showing you the color, but I don't I don't think I'm gonna like it as well, but for the cost of it, I may end up wrapping it in that, just because, like I said, it could be cheaper. I just want my car to be used for advertisement, you know what I mean? Like when I go around town, um, I just want it to be seen. They say that wrapping a car is the most, the best way for advertisement. So I want to have my car wrapped. I want to do it well and um, have my number on there and stuff and hopefully get some business that way. So I want it to look cool. So yeah, I'm not sure if we're going to use this color or not, but I'm going to take a look real quick. Try to not show you guys. Can't get it out of there. Okay. All right. Not bad. It's a mat. Oh boy. No, okay. Still got the logo, the brand, so. Huh. We'll see how it feels. Gotta see how it smells too, man. I mean, come on. Anybody, any, any good rapper knows that. If it don't smell good, you can't wrap a car in it. I'm just kidding. But anyway, uh, yeah, so it looked okay. Um, let me hide it somewhere so when I turn around, y'all don't see it. Right there so it can't be seen. See, so look. <laughs> anyway, so a couple updates. Um, we're gonna get to the car. We're gonna do the exhaust. Um, we are gonna get to that. But, some other news. Um, Casey and I actually purchased a home. Uh, I got a new job up in Indianapolis. It's about 20 minutes north or, or an hour north where I live now. Got a new job, so we bought a house up there. Um, it is, uh, it does have a two car garage. So I'm pretty excited about that because as you can see as I spin around, um, this space is just tight. Look, freaking mower. The car barely has room with the mower. My film is just over there in the way. Really, there's not enough, there's not much space. So, um, I mean, I got freaking compressor sitting up there on the on the bench. 
So this garage is gonna give me a lot more space. I'm hoping that it really can do a lot more wraps out of there and do them more effectively. Um, when we do move, when we move in, I'll obviously show you that. I'll keep you updated. Um, but for now, yeah, this is my garage. Small, um, you see I got like lights mounted. You probably saw when I did the BMW. Got the lights mounted there. Um, I really like that. This one had on Velcro so it could go low or up high. Um, actually, my wife found these, um, 5,000 lumen, which I believe is the same as those lights there for 12 bucks. You got two of them, 12 bucks each at Walmart. Picked them up, the more light the better. Um, but yeah, that's my garage, man. And I'm, I'm like I said, I'm excited to um, get moved and show you guys the new place where I hope to be doing a lot more cool wraps out of there. So um, kind of another side note, this is a roll of satin gray, okay? Full roll, freaking like 75 feet. If anybody wants their car done in that, it's 1500 bucks. Most small sedans I will do for 1500 in that color. A uh, previous customer purchased that or he had me order it because he wanted to do something. He canceled. Now I'm out that money. It's just sitting there. So I'd like to be able to do somebody's car in that. So $1,500 for that color. Um, anyway, now for the exhaust. Let's go ahead and uh, go for a spin and see how this is going to sound. put it in sport mode and as you can hear just driving you don't really hear the exhaust in fact you probably won't hear a lot from this camera um, inside the car that's one thing I really love about this exhaust is that it's not ridiculously loud it just sounds good I think my, my last car that Corvette I had it had a great sounding exhaust but um, it was just so loud that when you were going at like highway speeds and stuff, it was so droney, like in your ears. I mean, it just drove me nuts. So this exhaust um, is a little more tame, which I like. You might not even hear much, honestly, with, I'll roll the window down, but. Same, you know, you're really hearing. Disappointed on that. I thought there might be some pops like coming down. I had it about 5,000 RPMs, and when it's decelerating, there was no um, pop at all. It's a little upsetting, but it's what it is. Oh, that is something that's really cool about this car. I just realized it has automatic rev matching when you downshift, so that's kind of neat. Um, I think that'd be fun on the camera, so I'm gonna drop it down here and see if you can hear it. I did that earlier, gunned it on the highway, 
going about 40, I floored it through this tunnel and it was pretty sweet. But right off the top of my head, I don't think there is anything like that around here. That's what I'm talking about. Now it gets a little bumpy up here, so I had to let off. But yeah, that's the rev match I'm talking about. It don't you know it's not that bad when you go into when you go into third, you don't hear it, but when you drop it down into second, you can really get a feel for it. there you have it um that's the exhaust clip it is you know i i might have i might have been fibbing a little bit earlier it actually wasn't expensive at all um there's just something about doing an exhaust to your car that just makes night and day difference and without spending like a thousand dollars upward of a thousand dollars to get a full exhaust cap back you know and then headers even more i mean that's that's where you're gonna get power without doing that or with doing that, you're going to spend, you know, upwards of a thousand dollars. Well, you don't make all that much power in you that anyway. And I don't care so much for power in this car that much. So I just want it to sound good. Everybody likes a car to sound good. So what I did was spent a hundred bucks, had the mufflers removed. You might've seen it. Look, there it is. No mufflers before they were like, Right here, right here. So yeah, just 100 bucks and in like 30 minutes. Popped it up, cut them boys off, that's it. And that's the sound you get. So um, I think it's pretty cool. I know not a lot of cars I don't think would sound that good with just simply taking mufflers off. So um, I'm pumped about it. I'm happy with it. Uh, my Corvette, I know, heck, I spent like four or five hundred bucks, and, and, and honestly, I think this sound, thing sounds just as good. A little different, but, so, that's whatever. That's that. Um, don't mind that stuff. I'm going to put my Strong Customs badge up there, um, our logo, because um, as I've said, I want this to be a, a um, advertisement, you know? So, anyway, guys. That's that, Q50 exhaust. Just cut the mufflers off. Save yourself some time and money. It'll sound just like that. It's beautiful. Keep, keep in mind that is a 3.7. That is not, it's a 2014 3.7. It's not the three liter um, turbo. So just so you guys don't cut the mufflers off your three liter turbo and it don't sound that good. Just want you to know that. It's a 3.7. Anyway, that's that, guys. Um, if you like the video, you want to see some more Key 50 content, like, subscribe, and uh, I'll catch you back here next time. Peace.